My name is Maya Jenkins, and I'm an environmental educator at the New York Restoration Project. And today, I'm outdoors exploring a park here in New York City. And one thing I like to do when I, I'm exploring parks is to kind of challenge myself. And the challenge for today would be, let's observe different plants and look for different colors within these plants. So I want to challenge you to help me identify three plants. One, I'm looking for a plant that maybe has something that's white on its plant. Uh, looking for a plant that maybe has a green part of its plant. And I'm also looking for another plant that maybe has some red to its plant color. So first thing I spot is this white plant right here. And one thing that I know about this particular plant, it's a great pollinator. And we call this a hydrangea. So you'll see that there's lots of bees that love to come and visit the hydrangea. And you get lots of different varieties of bees. So this is definitely a great plant to have out in your garden space. I spot something green on the hydrangea. And what I observe that's green here on this hydrangea is the hydrangea leaf. One fun fact that I know about this hydrangea leaf is that the Native Americans used to use it as a form of toilet tissue. And as you can see, it's pretty large in size. The leaf is pretty large in size. And one side of the leaf is ra ra rather smooth, while the other side of the leaf is more veiny. So if you had to pick a hydrangea leaf to use as toilet paper, which leaf, what side of the leaf would you use? Well, great, if you select it like I did, I would pick the smooth side to use for my hydrangea leaf. Now, something that's real important that I also spotted while I was observing these plants in this section is I spotted a plant that is green in color. And one thing that I know about this plant is it has three leaves. And this particular plant is not one that I really want to touch. I don't think I would suggest many people want to touch this one. Uh, we call it poison ivy. And one way I identify poison ivy is by the three leaves and the leaves are a little shiny. And that shine is the oil that we find on the top coating of its poison ivy leaf. And the reason we don't wanna to touch the poison ivy is those oils can get onto our skin. And if we happen to touch different spots on our body, then we are actually spreading those oils around, which will then create a rash in different spots, which tend to be very itchy. So, Again, if you are exploring, make sure you're always doing a quick check to observe if there's any low plants growing, such as poison ivy, and you know then to observe this plant that looks very interesting from a distance.